Hey guys, I'm Brad of Brave the Woods. Today we're gonna to be doing a really fun mashup. We're gonna be taking one of my favorite characters in film, Rocky Balboa, the Italian stallion, and mixing him with the style of Mexican bingo or Loteria Mexicana. I think that was right, L Loteria Mexicana. That sound right, it sound nice. I'm not sure if it's right, but it sounded nice. Either way, we're gonna be doing a mashup of those two things right now, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm really excited to get started on this. I, I love the idea of merging these two things together. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We finished up the sketch. He's in that stoic boxing pose. So now we just need to learn a little bit about the, the Loteria style so that we can uh, figure out how we can make him feel a part of that. Now there's lots of different versions of Mexican bingo, but the version I'm talking about is the one by Don Clemente Gallo, which is done in like the late 1800s. And I love it because if you see here, it's got these really vibrant, saturated colors with these really dark contrasting shadows that they put in there. And uh, I love it because you get this um, complexity and, and depth but also they feel a little flat. I don't know how to explain that other than the fact that I think it's that thin line that they have around everything, that thin outline around all the illustrations. And then they have like this obviously painted interior with that watercolor wash in the background. But uh, I'm gonna take those things and try to apply them here. So the first thing I need to start with is dropping in these lines. With the lines all dropped in, I'm noticing already that I'm gonna to have to erase some of them. I didn't even fill in all of them. You notice on his knees and his collarbone and his neck. I left those out because in this style, they usually paint in all the details and like the, the form and stuff like that. I dropped in the, in the pecs and things like that and a little bit of detail in the belt. Who knows, I'll probably have to erase some of this stuff, but we'll find it as we go along. Uh, a lot of that just has to do with the the, the value changes and things we're gonna do with the painting to give it that form. They kind of stick with the, the thin line just as an outline to kind of shape the object. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of time and fill this guy in. Instead of just dropping it in like uh, with a Command G, you can just auto you know fill this area. For me, it's just fun painting, and even though it's digitally painting, but the, the process of doing it, it may be the long, hard, stupid way, but it's actually, kind of fun for me to do so you'll see me just painting in here and I'll, I'll, I'll fast forward here in a second so you don't have to watch the whole thing but for me it's like drawing in a coloring book especially when it's outlines like this which I never do so I get to color it in and see it take shape is kind of fun. Shoot, I added in all those details in the boots with the, the line work and I completely forgot that I'm going to be filling it in black so I'm going to have to paint on the top of that color later, add the things like the laces and the Nike swoosh, but uh, shoot, I did all that for nothing so I'm going to have to go back, fix this real quick, and then... Uh, parts out of the way we drew the outline we filled it in with color now we just got to give him some definition got to give him his muscles and uh, make it feel like it's still in that Loteria style so I have a few references that I'm going to use I'm going to use this uh, Native American here the Apache and see if I can so he's uh, he's shirtless already and he already sees some of his legs so he'll be a great reference point for us and then I also uh, have you know this hand here that I can see uh, kind of the how the coloring and how much detail to put in here. Granted, the hand's up close, and so we're not gonna put that much detail, but uh, we can at least pull from it. And uh, I'm not, if, if you're watching this and saying like, 
well, these colors are a little muted and flat. Well, they are because we haven't really gone to do, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do that all with adjustment layers at the end. I'm gonna try to get the contrast somewhat at this point, but I'm not super worried about that and the textures until the end where I'm gonna do adjustment layers. And that's why I did this in Photoshop over uh, Procreate on the iPad Pro. All right, this doesn't look too bad already. It's starting to feel like it's taking shape. I think the uh, name of the game here is going to be building up that definition by building up layers. So slowly but surely, this will start to take shape. I feel like when I'm making these types of things, it can be a little intimidating looking at a picture and seeing all the definition and all the things at once. But if you start to break it down and start working layer by layer, it makes it a lot more achievable, especially when you're creating it, where you drop that, you know, that base skin tone, drop in the next level of, of shading for uh, kind of that mid-tone range for the, for the muscle. Next, I'm going to add in some highlights, which can be a lot lighter color here, kind of pulling from that original skin tone and just uh, easing it towards the white a little bit more. And uh, we'll kind of place those in the spots that we think are going to be getting the most light. And, uh, and then we're going to, I think I'm not, I know it doesn't do this on in, in the Lotharia style all the time, at least not in this Apache, but, uh, I'm going to add it because I think it's going to be a little more fun adding that dark black shadow, um, just in hints of it, just to make it really pop from the rest of it and, uh, and stand out. So let's see what that looks like. is working for me it's looking pretty cool i mean it does push it a little american traditional tattoo style which <laughs> that is cool too i really like that style and I'm, there's a lot of overlap i'm noticing now that i mention it there's a lot of overlap in the the lotharia card style and the american traditional tattoo style uh, i wonder how they were influenced by each other they had to have been uh but anyway they look i i, I like where it's going regardless and uh, the one thing I am noticing, though, is that there's still a little bit of a disconnect with some of those uh, those colors, the the different layers of uh, the highlights and the, the shadows and things like that. I feel like there needs to be one more color, and maybe it's like a darker kind of redder, darker reddish orange that I put in there to kind of like make it come together. I'm not sure, but we're going to try it out and see how that works. And then I'm going to put on all the rest of these little finishing touches uh, to make this really sing some cool highlights and things like that uh, just to, to round it off and try not to get too crazy with the details. But uh, if you'll notice, I did give him a black eye, which one thing I didn't understand about the Rocky movies is how many times that man took a punch to the face without putting his flipping hands up. I mean, it showed his toughness and it made for a good movie. But at the same time, I'm like, there's going to be serious brain damage done to this guy. Wait, isn't that what Rocky five was? <laughs> I think I just gave away what happens in Rocky Five, But anyway, it's not a good movie anyways. You shouldn't watch it. So let's see what happens uh, here with the final details and see if we can make this guy come to life.
and I think I'm finally finished. Oh my gosh. No, I can't keep looking. I gotta stop looking at it because the more I look at it, the more I wanna change things. Little things. It's always little things that I wanna keep noodling until I never, ever, ever get this done. So this is good. And I feel really good already without even drawing or dropping in the adjustment layers and playing with, you know, contrast, saturation, all that fun stuff. So I feel like that's a win in, in that category because the less I have to do in post is, uh, it's usually better. And, um, uh, but yeah, so now all I want to do is I really want to drop in this, uh, watercolor -y background. I love that. in the, the Lotharia cards that you get this really cool watercolor wash and some really like vibrant, uh, shadows like a purple shadow here on this pink. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in some some cool colors here, some watercolor in the background, and uh, play with my levels. I'm gonna play with saturation and uh, and some levels there to make sure there's some stronger contrast. And then maybe throw on uh, underneath. I'll probably put like a little paper texture to make this feel like it was printed. It's got the that's what I, that's another thing I like about the Loteria cards is the fact that they have the they're they're kind of cheap. They're they're printed on like you know it's a cheap print job, and so you get this cool effects and I'll kind of mimic that in, in, to some degree. But uh, yeah, I'm really really liking uh, where this is going. So let me just wrap it up so we can take a look at it at the end. All right, guys, we're done, and I think we can answer that age-old question, what would it look like if Rocky Balboa was on a Mexican bingo card? And uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. I hope you had a good time watching it. Uh, before you leave, please go ahead and answer one question. It's a very important question. Which one of the Rocky movies was your favorite? And if you haven't seen the Rocky movies, you need to stop everything you're doing and binge watch all of them. But tell me which one is your favorite movie. My favorite was number three because Hulk Hogan was Thunderlips and it was hilarious and awesome. Thanks again so much for watching this video. Please subscribe below by clicking the subscribe button, hitting the little bell there to uh, be notified of future videos. And uh, if you wanna see more of my videos, check them out here. And uh, if you also liked the brushes or you wanna use the same brushes I used in this video, you can do so. They're called the Woodland Wonderland Pack. I have a link below and here. And uh, thanks so much for, for being here with me and uh, we'll see you next time.